29 killers, 50 head-to-head -head games of most hooks win. This is Slate's World Cup of Dead by Daylight Killers. Well, we do know the dredge with only two points to its name, unable to progress and will be eliminated as alas is the pig the pig also cannot get through cannot surpass myers so the pig can only play spoiler to the spirit's chances spirit win and in the thing that always scares you about hackers is subtle hacks where you can't quite be sure of whether there is one or not here we go we're going to take the stalk over to the other side of the map a grab an early grab off gen be massive our chances. Let's see if there's any possibility of it. No movement there. This gen is moving. They do just see us. Way right over here has sprint burst will move away. Three people here, including a bill. So you love that you're able to put pressure on that scariest of gens. A Feng ran away, Bill ran away. Someone will be getting back on the gen for sure. Question becomes how long are you gonna stay away from that situation? I guess now at this point you're fully you're fully invested in the chase with Bill. There will be a, uh, a pallet burn there, a pallet stun, and maybe a bit of a tough one here. Jen's moving over there. I think even if we chose to head back that way, we wouldn't be able to put a dampener on it. Though you know there is someone running in that direction. Yeah, there goes the Jen. At the very least, you can take the chase with the Dwight, leaving the generator on this side. Sees me. It's around here. Good injury. Now remember, remember traps. You feel like already this is a game where the gents might start flying. You need to put any kind of dampener on them that you can. And traps are the one way as pig you can keep a game pressured. So, heading up here. Nia taking uh, a protection here, it seems, for the Dwight. Which is a shame. Nia's the one person we don't want to hit early game because we want to keep our save the best for last stacks as much as possible. Maybe we're going after them. Immediately pivot around here. But it just, it looks very tough, doesn't it, this game? Go and play from the Dwight. Burning the pallet sector when I need to. There was a boon that is up here. Question is, where is it? I think it was back there somewhere. I heard the faint din of the, of the boon. Run around, should be another pallet drop. It won't be. They have this pallet over here. They have that hard. They have sprint burst that keeps them going. It means you can't quite get the hit before they get to another pallet here. So there we go, there's a pallet burn. What a rough chase this has been. To be able to get Sprint Burst back mid-chase is always, always rough. I feel like now it's a good opportunity to pivot away. Bill over here. Get an injury and hope that becomes something else. Perfect swiftly. We may clear we haven't seen Feng over there. But of course we have. We'll pivot over. Here is the boon. I want to get rid of that in short notice. Just lots of really tough chases so far this game. Not really getting an in anywhere. You feel like you're gonna have to pay the price of a gen if you're gonna close anything down here. Bit of a moonwalk, get some hesitation, but not enough. Maybe ambush is what we need to be using a little bit more aggressively here. To kill a Sheffield go. Any hesitation around there? Good move, okay. Should be the dying state here. There's Dead Heart. Right. A uh, couple of gens pop. and fin But finally, there will be a hook. And the trap, moreover. Up you go. Over here. There's a deadlock gen. That's one that we want to get back to. Circle around to. Call a brown eruption kick on that would be incredibly useful. There's someone over here, I think. I was convinced there was someone hide behind there. Instead, they flipped the scene. Okay. Really, really tough game, this one. Oh, and made only tougher with the other gem popping. They're going to try and run in for the unhook. They won't, they won't need to. Someone else is on the case. Good move from the Dwight. Have they got Sprint Burst 99 yet again? No! Question we're asking. There are things you do like about this game state. Oh, you could pivot, be a meanie. The situation does sort of call for it. Maybe then they try and take on... Oh, remember Dead Hard, remember Dead Hard. They'll use that first and then go down here. 
Do they get the pallet stun? They'd have to come from the other direction. Oh, they won't be able to. I did hear footsteps moving in. It's a bit nasty, like I say, but I think again the situation does sort of call for it for the pig. Is incredibly up against it. Gem moving. Okay, make sure this is kicked. They're gonna go for flashlight. Little bit of a move around. Does this get anything? A bit of hesitation from Dwight. They'll charge up Sprint Burst again. Oh, benign time. There's the injury. And that could be the start of something huge. Because I think now they would have used it. We'll be exhausted. Bring us back to Bill. Another hit on a non-obsessions. Non Eight stacks of save best for last. Bill and Dwight running away from the hook. Running away from the gen. Maybe this could be a really, really good situation. For the pig. Gonna swing through. Gets the dying state. And a trap thereafter. And maybe, just maybe... There is hope for the pig. And, moreover, hope for Myers. Myers very invested in this victory for the pig. Oh, God, are they going to be able to get to a hook here? Just. Whoa. Good Lord, that was really, really tough. Does, in the end, get the hook. I mean, look at the gen state. There's not even a decent three gen uh, in proximity. You should be... Yeah, I was going to say, you could be crouching over, but you... You just don't want to give away any time at all because the gens are moving so heartily. Oh, and they just start finding themselves in rough spot after rough spot. If you take the chase here, what you're hoping is that you force other people into taking protection hits, getting themselves off the gens, the altruism, which can help you so much. And climb over. They fake out a window, well played. And at that point, I think the pig happy to pivot elsewhere. Keep these gens under pressure. And get Call of Brian on the ones that you can as well. The intel there not to be sniffed at. Trying to keep an ear open. Not hearing that gem moving. See people moving this way. See Bill moving this way. No, not Bill. It's near. Good injury. They get the pallet burn. Going to move away with it. That would be live, I think, to take them away. So they've got some fair distance, but not an insurmountable distance by any means. Any chance we can do something like this? Good play from them. Thinking it was the pallet. Thought incorrectly. Hesitation from them. Great opportunity here. Can you get the injury? I think the pallet is gone on this side, is it not? It is gone. Dead hard? No. Dwight's here. Let's try to get the flashlight safe. Certainly has a flashlight. We'll be wanting to use it. There's Bill. Oh, just try and get the grab. Remember, there's a trap you need to put on. Oh, there is a trap you need to put on. Where were the hooks, moreover? My lord, this is... Oh, there's one right there. It is a forget of the trap, but you now, I don't think, have the time to put the trap on and then pick up and put them back on the hook, so you just happen to pick your poison there. Back on the gens. Back on the gens. Every hook important. Here, yeah, every hook... Constitutes that much of a trickier proposition. All the spirit. He's lost a lot of safe best last tokens there. Take a hit on Bill. Accrue another one. You're coming back this way. Great opportunity. Has the pallet. No! But just delays! Just delays a smidgen too much. Eruption on the gen is huge. Getting the grab on the Bill. Can you take Bill down to the basement? A very worthwhile proposition if you can make it work. And I think the pig can. Joe, uh, Bill, why? Well, you'll be asking that question until uh, until the end of the universe. Oh, hang on. You just heard the whoo of Dwight falling down. I think it's an absolutely fine chase to take. Trying to hide around a corner. Pig's not going to fall for it. They go window here. You need to chase them the wrong way around this. This is the wrong way around this. Oh, they double back. Great play for the Dwight. Did not see that one coming. They do not burn. They do burn. Get a flashlight blind thereafter. There's the unhook. How much time do you commit? Can you commit to this chase, to this Dwight? Let's build through the window. Does that mean that Dwight gets a slow bolt? Oh, milliseconds in it there. And there goes the gen. Oh. What rotten luck this has been. What a, what a tough game it's been for the pig as well. Not the one she would have liked to have gone out on. At least there is a question of Bill and his trap and how he's going to get out of this one. 
just a pallet at the right time. They keep on finding the, the right things at just the right times that are able to deny the pig time and time again. Good chase on offer here. I'm going to go for the pallet. Got to fake out. It is open. Oh, what you wouldn't have given for Blood Warden here. This will be a kill on Fang. Great move. Oh, but no dead heart to follow it up with. They faked me out something rotten there. It will be a kill. But that will be all for this game. That'll be a six hook affair. Six hooks. So that makes the maths very simple. Seven hooks or more. And Spirit takes group D. Six hooks and a draw won't do it. Myers would be few, uh, through on the higher number of hooks. So seven hooks, a magic number for Spirit. Not six hooks again, I know. No little bit of a curse. At least it's not been a run of six hooks this time. Hello, Llama. Welcome in. Subliminal advertising from Behaviour there. A strong team. Not the send off the pick with a hope for. GG's. Good luck with next. Over to the spreadsheet we go. That is a six hook game for the pig. Seven hooks. And the spirit is through with seven points. If it's a six hook game, a draw, Myers goes through on the superior number of hooks. If it's a loss, Myers goes through on the superior number of points. Here we go. The Temple of Purgation in the Red Forest. See all the spirit can do here. Gonna move over to this gen in this corner and probably take the patrol over to the right if there's no one there, but of course there is. Oh, early swing there. Does the list sprint burst maybe a little bit earlier than your voice would have done? Any chance of a phase? Oh, by an unconventional means, the phase does get the goods. They're stuck in this corner, they do get back to the pallet. Uh, rough from the spirit there should never have allowed that to happen. Good play. Very good play from the spirit using the phases aggressively. And there is hook number one of the seven required and obtained in relatively quick fashion. Team spirit. Very nervy before this game. Some of those nerves must have been quelled by that strong performance. You're going to get pain res. You're going to get floods of rage upon the unhook. You're also going to get rid of this pretty important pallet over here. Great opportunity. Spirit going to head around here. Listen out for gem progress. None to the left. With Furin, that add-on that means everyone hears a facing sound. Always worth getting more phases in you otherwise would. It does a lot of disruption. Maybe forces some lone skill checks. A couple of Janes here. Immediate burnt pallet. The unhook over there gives us the auras. Let's go for a phase. Keeping on them. Good injury. Good phase into an injury. There was a boon over there. The Jane's going to take it in turns to take chases here. Going to burn. They're not going to burn the pallet? Wow! That's a remarkable restraint to not throw it and then to throw it. Really nicely done. But you do want to take on. Chase here. They are just waiting. Get them to burn the pallet. Come back. You want this boon dealt with. You don't want to leave a boon up longer than you have to. So let's head over. That means this, sorry. No, just waiting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mimi James. Mimi James. You just don't know. No. Okay. So it should be an injury here. Will be. Two gens have popped though. Two gens have popped. And the confidence of the early game now passing and maybe now a, a few a few scared faces in among the spirit camp. Good move from the spirit. Keeping up with them when they could so easily have lost, have lost sight of them there. And there is your dying state. And there should not be an angle for flashlight save. Can Spirit get over to the Skirtrook? Certainly worth trying for. She will. And this, barring something catastrophic, will be hook number two 
of the seven required. Pain res again on a gen, forcing someone to scream. I'm just going to move around here. Let's keep sight of these gens. Maybe not too fussed about that one. In all honesty, that might be the outlier. The gens on this side of the map. Possibly what you're focusing on here. And there's Jane. Oh, I should have, should have used the aura reading more effectively there. They weren't quite camping the pallet. They saw what we were up to. Phasing here. Good move. Good opportunity. Good move. And the opportunity for far more here. Another hook. It'll just alleviate some of the pressure. Send the spirit well on her way. Was that a fake out? It's not a fake out of the window. So would send the spirit here well on her way to that seven hook requirement. They're going to get to a pallet here. Do they burn immediately? They don't. Well played by them. It's not a safe loop. The spirit's going to back herself to get the injury by moving around it. They're going to move elsewhere. They have this pallet in the doorway. They don't. It's not there on this occasion. Not using the phase here. Probably should be. Going to wait for this. There's that hard. There's the hit thereafter. Well played in the end by the spirit. Jane over here. Don't want to give up an easy flashlight opportunity. There shouldn't be time to get there. Try as they might. So there we go. Another dying state. The third of seven hooks required. Another scourge hook is so important in keeping this game elongated. Keeping the gens regressing. Not even going to bother with the kick. Is the spirit going to rely on some of these other perks to keep the game still? She's instead... Going to take up the chase over yonder. Lots of rage sending someone roughly over this way. Oh, well played. Don't even know where they went. There they are. There is the injury at least. Good stuff there. The phase will be ready in short order. A great opportunity against the injured Yui. Oh, again. It's been a real period of nearly plays, millisecond plays, and that one could not have been much closer to getting the injury. They are going to get through the window. Do this. Look at hesitation, you get it. They're going to blind, but thankfully, the hit through the blindness is sufficient. I'm searching the locker. I'm searching the locker again. Searching the locker again. Look, look, at the, look at the UE. There we go. A nightmare for survivor pickups there. You don't want to look away from the lockers is the thing, because you want to make sure the flashlight save isn't on. But I won't lie. Spirit looking somewhat silly. There's your hook. It's a two-gen game. Four of seven hooks acquired. The pressure is on. This is truly too close to call. I'm going to get over here. Jane running to a corner with a scourge. That's a great position for the spirit to be in. And the double back. So they get to that window. Oh, they do. Nightmarish. The prospect of another long chase dawning for the spirit. Floods of Rage not quite doing it. They're, they're so good at faking out and knowing it almost instinctively where the spirit is likely to be. That's so good. I think the spirit has to respect the Jane on that occasion. Move away. It's Jen moving again. And there's your injury. It's a one Jen game and only four hooks for the spirit. It all seems so simple. The maths was so simple. Seven hooks and you're in. An easy proposition for a killer of this caliber. But it might all be falling apart. There's a pallet burn. And it's tricky to see where the next hook is coming from. Spirit going to keep on Jane here. Not going to go phase because she just fears. She fears the phase. Going to swing through and gets it. What a phase that was. It'll make the game state five hooks. Assuming the hook does happen, looking like it will. Skurjik over here gives Jen's further regress. We'll get some vital aura reading thereafter. That's the Jen that pops with pain res. There goes Jane. Spirit going to immediately pivot inwards. There's the injury on Jane. Could this be the beginning of something? Could this be a turnaround here? A vital turnaround for the spirit. Going to try and pivot in. Get ahead. Of where she thinks Jane is going. But Jane is heading the other way. Oh my lord. Not only the unhook. But adrenaline. Upon the unhook. That had to be timed precisely. Correctly. Otherwise it was all over. They get it. And they've left the scene. They've fled. Wow. Still two hooks to be gained here. No way out. Is here for you. 
Oh, you had Jane, but she was running the other way. For a moment's hesitation there. No way out is keeping the game alive. And things are looking so, so tense here. That's the other gate. Still got plenty of time. On no way out. Not plenty of time. That is very quickly dwindling. Ooh. Two hooks still need to be obtained. And here's the thing. There is a Jane on death hook here. You cannot go for the death hook Jane. She will not be enough. Is this a death hook Jane? I think it might be. There is a dying state. Get up a Jane off this gate. You slug here. You slug for sure. In the face after this Jane. Things are so pressured here. Oh God, heard an injured cry, but it was the wrong Jane. Jane coming back over here. Are they getting this gate moving? Would not be surprised for how coordinated, how organized this team has been. No, no gate movement. No gate movement there, so strong. Climbing through the window, hoping for an out hesitation, hoping for just an in. This has been a team that's been infallible from the beginning. And they get the peel, they get the pallet stun. They don't quite get the blind they're after. My Lord in heaven. This is so tense. Unbelievable scenes here. Now here's the question. Can you get the Jane? Who's not on death hook? They provide an opportunity. Great death half for the Jane. And the spirit asking, can anything go my way here? Myers camp. They're on the edge of the seats. They think that they might have their their position in the playoffs booked, sewn up. Are they correct? Pivoting left. Jane over here. It's a dying state. If it is not a death hook, Jane, a hook camp will secure the seven kills. Spirit can't remember. I can't remember. Is it a death hook, Jane? It's not a death hook, Jane. A hook face camp is what the spirit requires here. You need to deny the unhook if you secure a kill. You secure seven hooks and you secure your path to the playoffs. They're waiting. They're looking. They're seeing if any Jane... It's going to come in if Yui's going to come in. Yui, who is fully healed, who could maybe swap, who could maybe get the save here. Going to really quickly snooze the ads as well. There we go. What tense situation we have here. Unbelievable scenes. If this Jane dies with her, dies the hope of Michael Myers entering the playoffs. If the spirit can secure this kill, it's going to be seven hooks. They're going in for flashlights. They know their game plan. They, they know what they've got to do here. Can they see to it? Can they see to it? Uh, spirit desperately trying to avoid. Desperately trying to avoid. No, gets the hit. No. They get the unhook. He's getting another injury. Oh, it could be all over for the spirit. Needs to phase. And the phase needs to connect with someone who is already injured, but not going to have BT. Can she get all the way to the gate? It's going to be so tough to get there. Comes out. It's too hard. It's too hard. It's too early. Too early on the dead heart gets the grab. Oh god, this is gonna be a flashlight stone. It's resting in the towel. Can't get it! No flashlight coming through! Spirit! Going up to the hook! Looking for seven hooks! She's got it! She's got it! Playoff! Quarterfinals! Spirit is through! Myers is out! Incredible scenes here in the Red Forest! Spirit! By the finest of margins is through! Myers is out. Oh, evil dies tonight and Myers is out of there. It's fine. God bless you, Pebble. God bless you, Pebble. Let's go over to the spreadsheet. And my Lord, thank God we're ending it there. Seven hooks by the finest of margins. Spirit gets the victory over the pig. Fewer hooks than Myers in total. But they will not mind that one bit. Sort by points, sort by hooks. Spirit. Myers is out. Spirit is in. Wow. And we'll go over to the playoffs there. Group D. Spirit will be up against the Cenobite in the second quarterfinal. Oh, 